This video will give an overview of OTAC Compose and discuss the foundations of signal processing. Compose is an all-in-one math tool that provides various functions across different domains. Regarding math, we have an extensive coverage of functions to solve ordinary differential equations, trigonometry, linear algebra, polynomial math, calculus, and statistics. For applied math, we are a multi-language environment that also supports Python, has Excel reading capabilities, signal processing, creation of user interfaces and apps, curve fitting, and machine learning. Last but not least, in engineering, Compose has CAE pre- and post-processing integration, helps with material modeling, multi-body systems, optimization, controls, and test data analysis. Let's also mention some other sweet spots of Compose. First of all, OML, which stands for Open Matrix Language, has a syntax compatible with MATLAB and Octave. It means that it's possible to have an undisruptive adoption of Compose and it can coexist with existing math tools. Finally, our superior business model allows Compose to be used through OTAT units and no tail boxes are required, which means that all these features that I just mentioned already come with the standard installation of Compose. Moving to signal processing foundations, we are going to see now some reasons to use signal processing techniques and questions that should be answered to efficiently reach our goals. First of all, why signal processing? Some strong reasons for that are extract useful information from sensors that cannot be measured, aiming to reduce the complexity of the signal into meaningful features, improve transmission, storage efficiency and quality of signal, have a clear understanding of phenomena in countless applications such as durability, NVH, controls, electronics, finance, genomics, seismology, and many others. A demonstration of where to use signal processing in durability analysis, for example, is to convert a power spectral density signal into a time history, or an NVH to clean up a, a displacement signal acquired with accelerometers to detrain remove spikes and resample the data. Then, how to efficiently use signal processing? It's important to define the goals of the workflow, which can be quite diverse actually, but they all involve the idea of manipulating the information content in signals. One must define if wants to model signals such as synthesizing sine waves, analyze to extract features in both time and frequency domains, classify using parameters like skewness and kurtosis in time domain, compress to reduce the need to store data, filter to clean up the signal in time domain using approaches like moving average filter or in frequency domains such as Butterworth filter, transmit to optimize the usage of bandwidth, and speaking of manipulating the information, it's mandatory to understand the nature of the signal to be analyzed, because it will tell us which procedure is the most appropriate to be used. For example, if the signal is transient, like a chip whose frequency increases with time, short-time Fourier transform is more suitable as it determines the sinusoidal frequency content of local sections. If the signal is stationary, such as sine waves, phosphoria transform is pertinent to be used because it assumes periodicity of the signal. And if the signal is random, like a road profile or a turbulent airflow, then the computation of power spectral density is the best approach to extract information from it. Bottom line is that most signal processing procedures are based on data handling, time and frequency domain analysis, and visualization. 
and Compose provides functions to efficiently address signal processing workflows in all tabs, as we're going to see. First of all, let's talk about data handling. With respect to data import, Compose allows the direct reading of numeral CAE and test data formats, both time and frequency based. From CAE, we support files from multiple solvers of finite element method, computational fluid dynamics and multi-body systems. And from test, we support multiple formats from different acquisition systems. It means that no translators or converters are required. Compose is able to load a test or CA file and its entities are automatically understood, such as time steps, where we can see the list of time steps here, results stored in that file, in this case only ex angular acceleration, requests, namely where the information was computed, where it was calculated, and components of these results. And this utility also helps to build the syntax that will read the selected data. With regard to data preparation, Compose has an extensive coverage of different methods to prepare the data, like detrending, spike removal, resampling and peak detection. It's also possible to perform feature extraction using statistics libraries to find parameters such as maximum, minimum, mean, standard deviation and RMS level. We may also perform design and analysis of digital and analog filters. We can take an original test signal and detrend it and plot it. And we can see that a trend over time was identified in this video, corresponding to the best fit line, and it was removed from the dataset. We can also detect and remove spikes that are not part of the signal using statistical methods to identify outliers. We can verify that various spikes were no longer considered and were seen as spurious. Regarding feature extraction, it's possible to find the peaks of a signal using different criteria to obtain this information. And the identified peaks can be highlighted in the plot area like we see here. With Compose, we can also design filters like a low pass filter to remove noise and plot both the original and the filtered data. We can see both curves with the original and the smooth signal. The second foundation is about time and frequency domains. It's possible to carry out signal analysis in both domains in Compose. We support transformation of signals from time to frequency domain and vice versa. And we also have functions to address spectral analysis. We see here a script that takes the time domain signal to frequency domain. The outputs are three figures, where the first one has the original signal as a function of time. The second one has the frequency domain representation, highlighting the constituent frequencies in the spectrum. And the third figure shows a 3D representation of the original signal and its decomposition into three sine waves. We can also create user interfaces and develop a utility like this one, where we can set the window type to compute the PSD and get the data back to time domain. We can modify the signal parameters on the fly with these sliders and also modify the frequency domain parameters as we like. Noise can be introduced to number of segments in the window in process can be determined and amplitudes can be modified. Lastly, we can create useful 2D and 3D plots to provide richer insight from calculations and data. There is a wide variety of plot types and customization parameters. We can plot multiple graphs together in subplots 
mix in different visualization types such as 3D plot, discrete sequence, polar plot, and surface. And we just saw in various contexts and demonstrations the variety of plotting possibilities to help with the assessment and interpretation of signals. Please visit Alta Forum, a place where users can interact, ask questions, exchange information and post about model-based development.